Okay, I want to make this very, very straightforward, man. Okay, look. Unboxing and installing a CPU is extremely simple. This is an 8th gen i7 Intel 87K. Notice the LGA1151. Don't mind the VR thing. That's kind of a gimmick. Whatever. That's going to fit on a board like this. This is a Gigabyte Aurorus Gaming 5. There's a 7, a 3, and the other ones don't even bother. This one. Now, always read your manuals. Comes with its little certified sticker. Basically, it's a little approval. I'm pretty sure you can take that off and put that on your... Now, to install CPU. These are very simple and very straightforward. With these newer ones, they made it even more simple. Now... Here is our CPU in a box. Notice, um, you know, there's some fuzzy stuff. I'm not wearing any anti-static wristbands. I do have rings on. It is advised that you properly take off things like rings, not be on fuzzy blankets, uh, don't be around any fuzzy animals or a room full of balloons and cause all kind of static. And don't be plugged in. It would be fine. This board is not completely installed yet, but I'm going to simply show you that with one hand, literally, okay. Let's see, it has one open. So it opens like so. We get the CPU that is. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Oh no, oh no, it fell. It's fine. It's gonna be alright, guys. It's gonna be alright. Okay? So, as you can see, we have our CPU. You can't see because this thing is like just inhaling it with brightness. Now, with these newer. Uh, boards you want to get this little sucker I know you can't really see so sorry about this you're gonna want to open this up mind you you're gonna have two hands because you're not gonna be recording this with a phone and you'll be able to do this with two hands so if I can do it with one hand you can pretty much do it with two I open it up now on here do you notice anything different on any of these corners, I see a circle right there. I see a notch. I see another notch, but then what's that over there? It's an arrow. Now, I'm going to set this to the side. We're going to lift this up inside of here. What do we see? Do you see it? No, seriously, do you see it? Because I can't. <laughs> anyway. If you'll notice, these two notches right here. See where those are? And then you see that uh, fat arrow that I was kind of hiding from you? And I just noticed it right now, too. So don't worry. You weren't alone. We are going to grab... With as much force as possible, I mean literally like squeeze this thing like you mean to break it, but not really. Turn it around, try not to touch, and now mind you these are, you know, the flies where the prongs are on this side. And we're going to aim our arrow, specifically right there. If you mess up, that's okay. Just grab it. It'll go into place. Up, hold up. Uh oh, uh oh. And. But you see how you can just literally kind of just take your time. Whatever. You're not going to run anything. Don't be rough with it. It's in there. That's it. It's in there. Then you would close. 
remove. If I'm correct, they're supposed to just pop off, but, you know, I don't know. I really don't care. If it pops off, it pops off. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And it does. That's it. You installed a CPU. Done. Just like that. Then you would uh, install your... Install. You would put on your thermal paste, which I'm not going to do it right now, but for sake of it, uh, I have a huge gigantic size version one because of whatever I'm going to be using as a cooler. You would put a decent little amount on there. And by decent amount, I have a cooler lying around. You would want there to be more than this. Uh, you know, basically when they say like a pea size amount, something that'll spread out. I can mess with this one because this is just something I can mess with. But you want your thermal paste to fully cover the block, but not over all, you know, all this excess. You just want it where you need it, okay? That's why you aim for the center. If anything, make a star pattern, but don't overdo it. Small little container is all you really need. And that is how you install a CPU. And you obviously saw how uh, I was not gentle. How I definitely tossed it around, manhandled it like a beast. And it's fine. And it's going to work fine. Okay. Hope this helps. This was on a gaming... Well, this is on a Gigabyte Gaming Aurorus. <sighs> Gigabyte Aurorus Gaming 5 Motherboard Okay, the 7's the same The 3's all the, it, There's differences But you get the, the gist is It fits the newer gen uh, CPU But what's awesome about Gigabyte is I know it's here somewhere Where are you? Eh... Eh, usually I see, but it's been a little bit, I don't know, sometimes I don't pay attention. Uh, usually what's really badass about Gigabyte is there's dual BIOS. Dual BIOS is a big deal. If you ask me, Gigabyte, anything, any, any motherboard that will rock two BIOSes, you know, or backup BIOS, just be smart. Go with backup BIOS, just... Because, you know, whenever you, like, oh, I gotta do a BIOS update... And you've never done a BIOS update, you're going to wish you hadn't. You're going to run into some kind of problem and it's going to make you real sad. And it could just completely ruin your week. But for the sanity of all that, we'll skip all that nonsense. That was how you do it. That's how it's done. I'm not going to show you how to do anything else. That's how you put it in. It's that easy. Get everything else out of the way. Start getting your build done and do it right.